What's up, what's up, it's your boy JC. Thanks for coming back and checking out my uh, Factorio tutorials. And this tutorial, uh, it's the first one, going to be talking about the signaling networks. So, what is a signal network? Inside Factorio, in your menu, on this very first page, you have this row of items here. Lights, red and green wire, arithmetic, arithmetic combinator, the decider combinator, constant combinator, which is the one we're addressing today. You also have power switches and these programmable speakers, which we'll, we'll get to all of these, but I'm tackling uh, items and concepts kind of uh, one at a time here. Try not to overwhelm you, trying to keep it short. So uh, I'm crossing my fingers. I can do this in five, five to 10 minutes. Don't be mad if I don't. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment. Let me know what you think. Good, bad. Did it help? Not help? Whatever. So, um, the scenario today to make sense of all this is that we have a belt of material coming through our factory being fed into whatever. I'm using assemblers. It could be anything. Furnaces. It could be finished materials going into whatever. Um, and you have a, a, you know, you're maxing out the material you can get down here. One belt, two belt, whatever. Um, and the machines at the front that get the material first are sucking it all up and uh, the machines further down the line are really struggling to keep up. They sit idle, you know, more often than you would like. Uh, maybe they sit idle most of the time. So how can we address that, especially in a situation where there's no um, really room for expansion? There's no more uh, ability for a higher throughput of any kind and you you know you don't want to make a bunch of changes also if you only have four or five maybe ten inserters that you would want to manage in this way it this may not be the solution for you uh, this is for like ten and up in my opinion you know um it's not that it's not worth it it's just that uh, you know it's just my opinion i don't apply a more complicated things and this isn't really complicated until it's needed so we're gonna uh, use a couple things here uh, the first thing we're using is we're using a constant combinator let's talk about the name real quick uh, and before I go into that let me just tell you you can head on over to the Factorio wiki a lot of information in there a little little difficult to wrap your head around uh, if you haven't really played the game which was the case for me now that I've been playing a little while and I've looked at other people's implementation of these tools, it's starting to make more sense. And I, I have a pretty good grasp on the tools that are available and I'm going to be walking you through how to use them, how to make it useful for you. So to address our material issue, what we're going to do is we're going to control the stack size of the inserters and we're going to do it from our constant combinator so constant combinator all of these things are named combinator constant combinator this thing generates constant signals it can hold up to what 18 channels each one of these uh, slots is a channel and the channel can uh, have a, it, the signal can be constant or it can be well in, from here it's going to be constant so to add a to add a channel we'll just add channel channel zero now, everywhere on the network that this is connected to, channel zero will be displaying a signal of one. We want to change that. Okay, now for whatever purposes, channel zero is always, you know, is putting out a constant uh, signal of 200 and things on the network will take that and use that to perform calculations and decide if things should be on or off or how fast they should be going. Okay, I hope that helps. So. Now that we have our signal generator, we're going to use a signal generator to control the stack size. When you click on it, you can't see anything. There's no adjustments, just overriding the stack size. So I'm going to grab a red wire. You can grab red or green. The difference between the two is that red is one network and green is another network. The signals, can, they can both carry multiple channels, you know, and each channel's signal can be constant or variable. Um, 
but they keep they keep information separate if you want to keep it separated for different purposes we'll get into that later so you just click on one and string it to the next one and then to the next one and to the next one finally we'll hook it to the constant combinator so we have to set up our uh, inserters so it's good to set one up and then just basically copy and paste the settings um, so we uh, do not want to enable or disable we're going to turn that off and what we do want to control is setting the stack size and since this is a fast inserter we're going to control it on channel f okay that's it that's that's all it takes to set up an inserter now we're going to hold the shift button and right click and then we're going to come over to the next one and we're going to left click and now you can see it's completely set up and ready to go so let's paste it two more times let's double check that it took okay and uh, everything is so if there's no signal and these are being told that they're controlled by a signal if there's no signal that signal is not present they're going to default to this stack size of one apparently but they but they will not turn on they will be off so no signal no action so we chose to use signal f in our inserter for fast inserter so that's going to be our constant signal now we have a signal of, of one i'm going to mouse over it. if you look on the right side of my screen on the pop-up you see output signals f1 now we're going to do something else i'm going to show you two tricks here one to remove a cable you use that same colored cable you click on one end of the connection you click on the other and it removes it now we're going to add a power pole and not because we need any power for anything but because i want to show you what's up so let's hook up our constant combinator to our line of uh inserters and then we're going to run a line from um, the combinator to this power pole this is simulating sending the signal someplace else in the factory to something else. If you mouse over any pole that has a network wire connected to it, you can see everything about the information that's being transmitted. So you'll see all of the different channels and you'll see their different signal strengths. So we're going to just go ahead and add a couple of randos here. Now when I mouse over it, I can see that on the uh, red network uh, that we have three channels F eight and zero are what are displaying and um, it's they their F has a signal strength of two or value I, I think that's more appropriate the value of two channel eight is carrying a value of one and O is carrying a value of one so what we're gonna do here is get rid of these Oh, F had a value of two because there were two F1s. So it will combine uh, multiples. So let's see here. Now I have a signal of F3. See, F3 on the right side. Okay, but we only need one. So let's get rid of these two. And the other thing is when you've highlighted your channel, now you can adjust the value that is being transmitted on that channel so but for our sake we're, let's just set it at two and we're going to leave it at that let's check our inserter whoops not the belt the inserter and you'll see it has a stack size of two they are all now stack size of two let's make it a three so you can see and now they're all a stack size of three taking it down to a one you know and let it run there for a while and establish you know find its equilibrium um, when you're having material shortages is my approach and then i'll turn it up you know to two and see if the end is still starving you know if you've got it turned down to one and the you know another end of your process is always starving you know uh, you may need to rethink what you're doing and you know a different way to get more material in there maybe dual belt it in other words a belt on each side you know using stack inserters but, but again picking up more material at once is only useful if you have enough material to accommodate all of your machines okay now 
I'm going to show you one more thing, uh, and this will take about three minutes. And I'm going to show you how to display uh, one through three uh, using lights. So let's grab our lights. And we're going to be using this constant combinator to provide the information uh, that we need. Okay, so I'm spreading them out a little bit. I am, my lights are being powered by the uh, by the substation. So all I need to do is I could take the signal from the pole because it comes from the combinator to the pole. I can grab it from the pole and string them together or I can grab it right from the combinator. So I'm gonna put the lights together here and then I'm gonna connect it to the pole. So my signal is coming from there, wherever through the factory along the poles and to this set of lights. Usually this is all very close. I don't even use a pole when doing this for myself, when it's in this close. So what we want is we want to know uh, what it's set to. Is it at one, two, or three? So uh, we're going to say channel F. If it is equal or greater than one. Oh. One. Please turn on and let's use colors. Now we're going to copy and paste that. Again, hold the shift, right click with your mouse, and then hold continuing to hold the shift, left click, left click. Now all we have to do is adjust the uh, signal strength that we're acting upon. So in keeping this in order, channel F, if we receive a signal equal to or greater than the number two, then please turn on and it shall. And the same thing here for three. And we're all of them have colors selected and this is enable disable. So if we're just going to use one color, the constant combinator, which I should, we should call it the constant signal generator. Um, will output one color. You can stack as many colors in there as you want. It's only going to put out one color. I haven't done any testing about if it prioritizes the color that has the higher value. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see when I get to that. So I added the color and now here we go. So that corresponds, three lights on, corresponds to our stack size of three. If I come in here, I change our stack size to two. Now we only have two of three lights on and our stack size is two. I hope this helped. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do uh, a few other short tutorials on the uh, network signaling and using the different... Uh, devices and how to chain them together and make sense of things because um, it can be complicated. It can be overwhelming and exciting. All of these things that you would like to put to work and use them, but how and why. So I hope this helps. Like, subscribe, and uh, hit me up in the comments. And uh, you have a good one. Peace out.